Okay, this is a prototype of a new version of the voice box that uh, Knights of England are currently working on, hopefully to be released sometime in the uh, late summer of 2013. What we have here is a prototype board. If we look over here, we can see that we have the voice display, which is actually a circuit board already, um, but it's currently plugged into a prototype version of the driver board, so don't worry when you eventually see this in production, it won't be a big board like this, it'll be another board, the same as the display board on the back. What we're just doing at the moment is we're going to demonstrate the, we're going to demonstrate the functionality of it. Now this new version of the voice display is completely controlled by a serial link. We have a wire plugged in here, an RS-232 serial communications link plugged in here. It has all the wires populated, but in actual fact we're only using one of these wires. So what we really have with this new voice box is a true three-wire hookup. A power, a power line, a ground line, and a serial data line. All the commands for the voice box are going to go through this serial link. Now, as I say, we're going to control it from any serial communication source. At the moment we have a uh, PC hooked up with um, a, short, a small Visual Basic uh, program in it. Um, so what we can do, of course, is we can control, the, for example, the, uh, the voice display by moving this up here and you can see the little graphic on the screen moves up and down and if we glance over to the actual board I don't know if we can get them both in the screen at the same time yes we can we can move this up and down and the voice display will reflect that we can also vary the brightness of the voice display if you can see that going up and down also by serial commands from the Visual Basic panel. In actual fact, what's happening here is that the, um, the serial link is sending commands of this format. For example, at the moment, the commands are starting with a, a 3, meaning it's a command to DM3, dash module number 3. It's a command to the voice display, and it's a command about the brightness of the voice display, and it's currently on maximum brightness. And as you can see, as I move this control up and down, you can see the command that's going to the voice display is changing. We can easily change over to the car mode by clicking this button here. You can see that obviously the colour changes on the graphic, but if you want the colour to change on the board, you've got to physically change the LEDs. Let's see the car display working in the background there. Now, <clears throat> the other thing that we have on here is um, the facility to control the individual columns. So let's just set that up the way we need it. Um, and you can see that if we do this, we can control the individual centre column, or the right column, or the left column. So you can pretty much send any pattern that you want. Um, additionally, in actual fact, we could select bit mode and set individual bits. Although it does set two bits, because these are a mirror image. The top and the bottom half of each display are mirror images of each other. So, for example, you can set individual bits on any of the displays. We can also set um, the dash top indicators individually. We can control um, audio tones from this as well. We can set um, the required frequency and the required duration and press the button. I don't know if that's going to be picked up on this video. So we can change duration, or we can change frequency, we can also set the steps of the countdown sequence, step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these aren't the correct tones, we've got to change the tones obviously, but this is just to demonstrate that the board can work that way. Um, what else do we have on here? If we bring the frequency right down, we get a very nice representation of the uh, rapid axel sound that you, um, that you very often hear on the speedo or the taco. I don't know if this um, is going to pick that sound up, but anyway, take my word for it, it does. Um, this driver, as we said, is a prototype, and it can be built, this board can actually be built as a standalone to exactly replicate the existing um, voice display, or it can be built up like this with a serial communications link, so that you can um, send serial commands to it. 
And of course you don't have to drive it from a PC, you can drive it from anything, such as the very popular Arduino development uh, platform, so you can write your own software for it. Um, the, the functionality of this is pretty much only limited by the ingenuity of the, uh, the software that you can write for it. Um, this, at the moment, has one serial wire transmitting information to the voice box. When we uh, finalise it, you're also going to have the option of a, a fourth wire coming back so that you can receive information back from the board um, under diagnostic mode to retrieve stored fault codes, uh, owner information, reprogram and so forth. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to either use this serial communications RS-232 link or drive it from a USB connection. Now a USB connection, as you know, provides its own power, but only a certain amount. So if you run it from the USB connection, um, you're going to have the display still illuminate, but to a lower brightness. Only when you've got the external 5-volt uh, power plug in will it work at full brightness. And I think that just about covers the new voice box. Hopefully that gives a bit more information than the uh, post that we've posted previously.